time for love and lust, Hollywood style. That's kind of cool. He actually rented out the entire park. Plus, we'll break down the flashiest engagements. The ring that Nick proposed to Mariah with has over 10 carats center purple pink diamond. Coming up, a romantic corner table. Try renting a whole theme park. He actually rented out the entire park. It's dating celebrity style. The most romantic and outrageous megastar date of the past year came courtesy of the multi-talented entertainer Nick Cannon. To celebrate his recent marriage to Mariah Carey, he paid to close down the entire Six Flags amusement park in L.A. just for the two newlyweds. I'm good. I can't complain. Because what's more passionate than gazing into each other's eyes while you hurtle at 85 miles an hour on the terrifying Goliath. He actually rented out the entire park just so Mariah could go on her favorite amusement park ride. There's no queues, you know, no waiting, no crowds, just them two. Unlimited rides on the thrill shot? That was just the beginning. Nick also redecorated the entire park as a personalized Mimi playground with pink and lavender balloons and butterflies. He even proclaimed his love for Mariah with a big sign on the carousel. Oh, We captured something. Exactly how much does it cost to take over an entire amusement park just for a date? A rumored $250,000 for five hours of white knuckle romance. That's kind of cool. Coming up, it's popping the question, Megastar style. Who rented a private helicopter? And who bought this freaking rock? It's the most expensive engagement ring that I ever made. Find out when the fabulous life of Hollywood's hottest couples returns. But nobody knows the rules of megastar engagement like this guy, actor and rapper Nick Cannon. Because in 2008, he didn't just propose to anyone, Nick was asking a superstar, Mariah Carey. It was a romantic evening in April 2008. The Empire State Building was illuminated in pink and lavender to celebrate the release of Mariah's new album. Nick took her to the rooftop of her Tribeca apartment to see the lights and popped the question while she gazed upon a national landmark lit up in her honor. And he decided to give her a little candy ring pop. But this was no normal candy ring pop. Inside was, in fact, her engagement ring. But Nick wasn't done proposing yet. Next, he took Mariah on a chopper ride over New York City and did the whole routine all over again. And this time, he actually filmed it. Shoppers, cameras, that's one way to make a celebrity say I do. But for Nick, the magic was in the ring. This $2.5 million bauble he custom designed with help from jeweler to the stars, Jacob Arabo. Mariah's engagement ring is the most expensive engagement ring that I ever made. Nick asked me to design an engagement ring, and I said to him, why don't we do it together? Yeah. When the world's flashiest diamond designer and a Hollywood star get together to make an engagement ring for Mariah Carey, what do they come up with? One of the rarest diamonds on earth in Mariah's two fave colors. His first choice was purple, so the second choice was uh, pink. And um, when I told him I had the combination purplish pink, he was so excited. Purple pink diamond, if you put all the diamonds together, is less than 1% in the world. That's how rare they are. But it wasn't just about finding the perfect hue or a one of a kind gemstone. A gal like Mariah only says yes to a big hunk of ice. The ring that Nick proposed to Mariah with has over 10 carat center purple pink diamond and plus another six and a half carats 
worth of diamonds around it. Nick might have dropped two and a half mil for Mariah's ring, but in the past year, he wasn't the only studly suitor spending big on engagement rings. But today's celebrity ring bearers aren't just buying rings right out of the jewelry case, they're actually designing their own. The average guy could learn a thing or two from these celebrity guys because they really do put that extra personal touch into their engagement rings. Visit VH1.com and look inside our little black book. But one of the most ultra-private celebrity weddings belonged to Mariah Carey and Nick Cannon. Because their lavish Bahama nuptials in April 2008 were top secret. Nick and Mariah's wedding was so secret that Nick's family didn't even know about it. Not only were they not in attendance, but they didn't find out until they read about it later on. No one was allowed to get near this thing. I mean, it was like secret service level. And keeping a wedding this over the top, off the radar, it was a seriously covert operation. The 24 guests were whisked to Mariah's $5 million Bohemian estate via two private jets for what they thought would be a music video shoot. Tanks of live Maine lobsters and crates of Dom Perignon were secretly airlifted to the island. And the cake? Mariah trusted that to no one. It traveled on the seat beside the bride herself. <laughs> 